What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Dividing Eden by Joelle Charbonneau. This is one of the books that I got at the Epic Reads book signing earlier this summer along with House of Dark Furies by uh, Madeline Rue and I knew nothing about this book. I didn't even know anything about this author but hearing her talk about her process and just about who she was she just seemed really really cool and I just liked what she had to say about this book so I picked it up. I thought I would give it a shot but then the reviews for it started pouring in and they were kind of all over the place and that just really discouraged me. I wasn't really into it. I wasn't sure if I even wanted to read it anymore. So it just started getting like put off. It was getting lower and lower in my to read pile and I just wasn't really feeling it. But I finally read it and let me tell you, I am so glad I did because this book was so much better than I thought it was going to be and it completely blew me away. And I'm not even sure if I can exactly explain what it's about and still do it justice because on the surface, this is kind of a retelling of Eden. Like, obviously, they live in a kingdom called Eden. They live in a city called the Garden City, where they really uphold the seven virtues. It's all about, you know, just all of that kind of stuff. There are a lot of Adam and Eve vibes that are in it, and there's lots of windmills, and it's really cool, and it's all about, like, strength and all of that kind of fun stuff. And throughout the story, we see these two twins fighting for the throne because they have these crazy laws, and both of them can't rule, and they both have the same equal claim. And and they have to figure out who is better at upholding the virtues in order to put somebody on the throne. And it sounds kind of weird and it also sounds just kind of like your basic story, but it's so much more than that. And this world feels so lived in, the characters are so fleshed out that everything just makes sense. And it's also really hard to like describe and to put it into words. It just all works and that really caught me off guard. I was not expecting that, especially because in the beginning it's a little slow. You're not quite sure where it's going, but then like all of a sudden it just picks up and the pacing just gets like kicked into high gear and all of this stuff is happening and you're learning all of these things and these characters just morph and change right before your eyes. And at sometimes I was like, am I sure that this is flowing correctly? Like, am I just kind of being made of a fool here? Like, is this really within their character? But when you look back at it, the fall of these characters, the rise of these characters, it all makes sense. And you can all like point exactly to where the explanation is and it all flows and it works really perfectly. And it's really weird. If it sounds like this is all surprising to me, it's because it is. I was not expecting it to be like this. And it's still weird to just put it into words and to tell you what this experience Experience was like reading this book, but I was so into it just from start to finish. I was really excited about it. I just kept wanting to read it and all the way up until the end, it just kept surprising me and you never really knew where the book was going to go. Like during the whole signing, she kept saying, you know, like who's going to rule? And normally when you read a book, you kind of know where it's going. Like they try and like mislead you and be like, aha, I caught you. But no, like the entire time there's this whole push and pull and there's so many outside forces and who is the light path? Who is the dark path? You never actually know. And it's really, really cool. I like the way they play with it. I like the way she plays with madness in the character. She plays with wants and needs and just corruption and everything. It just flows so amazingly. And I really need answers. Like, I want to know what's going to happen next. I'm worried that with time, this book's going to fade into the background, even though I'm like really thinking about it right now. The fact that I can't immediately have those questions answered worries me, and I'm afraid that I'm going to forget things. I'm not going to be in the right headspace whenever the next book comes out, which is a weird feeling. Like, normally when you feel like this coming off of a book, you don't have those worries, but for some reason with this book, I do. So it's very strange. Like, I, I really don't know where to put this book or how to rate it, but I think I'm gonna give it an A- minus because this book was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it, and I think a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy it as well. But like I said, I was completely caught off guard. This book kept surprising me. I never quite knew what to expect, but it was an amazing experience, and I really, really loved reading it. So for all of those reasons, I highly recommend it. Yeah, it's really weird, and I, I feel like this review is gonna be really, really confusing, but that's just the kind of book that it was and I really actually want to read it again. It's also left me with a little bit of a book hangover. I didn't really feel like starting anything new so now I'm just like rereading books so I don't know. It's a, it's a weird experience but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every Monday. That is everything got for today. 
I will see you next time. Bye. By Joelle Shu. Whoo, that's a name. Sharbonanu. Sharbonan. Dividing Eden by Joelle Carbonara. Carbonara. I'm really sorry because I met you at Epic Reads and I can't say your last name. I gotta stop.